the affinity laws for a specific pump, the volume is proportional to speed. But we're not actually looking at the rotational speed, we're looking at the peripheral speed of the impeller. The head is proportional to that speed squared, and the power absorbed is proportional to that speed cubed. The implication for any specific pump is that even a small change in speed can give quite significant changes to these parameters, and especially to the power. And if we look at a particular manufacturer's set of curves for a pump, these are plotted, first of all, with the impeller diameter reducing. This is described as a cut impeller, and the important point to see here is that the flow head volume curves all decline, but the efficiency curves actually tend to reduce as the impeller cut increases. So this is being shown in this case by the efficiency ISO efficiency lines. If we go to a variable speed solution, and this is actually the same pump, just plotted with variable speed, you can see that the actual efficiency curves have changed shape. The pump can always run in best efficiency. And if we overlay a system curve here, we can see the system curve and the best efficiency line are running very close to each other on a system where there is a low static. When we go to a system where there's a higher static head, in that case, the amount of speed turned down is not so great, and we are running beyond the particular efficiency lines, so the system efficiency is dropping.